The teen fight for gun control has officially gone national. Thousands of students across the country marched out of their classrooms at 10 a.m. on March 14th, one month after the shooting in Parkland, Florida, to send a clear message to Congress and the nation. Enough is enough. Enough is enough! Enough is enough! The 17-minute protest was both a chance to honor each of the lives lost and an opportunity to protest for stricter gun laws. The students' demands are clear. A call for universal background checks, a ban on assault weapons, and a gun violence restraining order law. Students from over 3,000 schools, from elementary school to college, participated in the National student walkout, which was organized by Empower, the youth branch of the Women's March. Some students took their demonstrations all the way to the White House and Capitol Hill. While many schools stood behind their students and their right to protest, other schools warned students of disciplinary action, like Booker T. Washington High School in Atlanta, where students faced severe punishment if they left campus. Instead, they took a knee inside their school halls. One North Carolina student was the only person in his school to protest. More than 200 colleges, from Ivy League schools to state schools, have pledged their support to these student activists. And and said that they won't let suspensions from the walkout affect students' college admissions. Businesses are showing support for the students too. All Viacom networks like MTV, BET, and VH1 went dark for 17 minutes at 10 a.m., pausing all programming in solidarity with the walkout. Teen activism on gun control has reached new heights following the Parkland shooting, and it's not stopping anytime soon. The next planned demonstration is the March for Our Lives on March 24th in Washington, D.C. Organized by the Parkland survivors, the march already has backing from celebrities like Oprah and George and Amal Clooney. It will feature musical superstars like Ariana Grande, Jennifer Hudson, Miley Cyrus, and Demi Lovato. These students are part of a generation that's grown up in a world where active shooter drills are a normal part of school, and mass shootings have become normalized. But they're also the generation most ready to mobilize and take on politicians and the NRA. Will the rest of the country follow? For Uproxx, I'm Frankie Greek.